Hello, good morning. This is Katja from Steps by Katja and I'm gonna hike. I'm gonna do a three-day hike finally because I have been waiting for this moment from when the lockdown started. So Belgium opened up at the 8th of June and so then I really got the time to plan it to take some day off from work and so I'll go on and hike today for three days. I'm ready. Yes. This is day one of my three day hike and I'm in the middle of the orchard. That's the way it is when you start from my home. You're always in the orchards. So it's nice and you can just walk through even when there is not really a road. So it's easy. So, let's see what the day brings. I'm uh, walking through the orchards like I already said but I kind of got lost because I didn't took the road I was planned on taking so I just took some orchards and but I'll end up anywhere way where I have to be so that's nice and, and I do enjoy that you know just when I see a road don't know where it's going just take it and see where you end up and sometimes you have to come back and sometimes you see new things, you discover new roads, so especially when you're near your home, it's fun to explore some new stuff, so go for it, enjoy walking and exploring everything. Basilica of Cortepos and just you know it's run by the Norbertines of Averbode you know remember the abbey of Averbode where I walked by on my challenge of the Abbey of Dayatop so this is run by them that way you know This is my first break of the day. I have done like eight kilometers. I think I have another 10, 11 to go. I don't know exactly, I'll see. I'm not really hungry, but it, you know, it's Sunday. So I had a really good breakfast at home before I left. I left, so not hungry. But I think I might look into my goodie bag anyway and see if there is anything that can tempt me. Hmm. Oh, you're a brownie. I think I can handle that even not being 200. Cheers. That's us taking a break. Recreational area of Nieuwenhoven. 
it's really nice on a Sunday. There are always a lot of people walking around. I do come around here to walk the dog as well sometimes. So it's a good place to walk through. A bit different from all the orchards I've seen. It's a bit of a mood. having a too heavy backpack at the beginning of a three-day hike because you have a lot of stuff with you you have uh, food and something water and all that so it's too heavy but I know by the end of the trip it will be a really light backpack so I'll hang in there and uh, it's probably why I'm more tired than I usually am when I go out hiking This is the hard life of a hiker. Yeah. So that was a nice spot to stop. I'm two and a half kilos heavier now with the water, or at least my backpack is, but I'll be all right. down 16 kilometers something like that I have another two to go so a big mile extra I don't know why I'm so tired today is it the backpack is it the beer is it because it's Sunday I don't know but I'll be glad to be there I made it to the campsite and I'm tired so I'm gonna eat a salty cookie and the little coke I brought but the question is of course now what did I take? Did I take my tent? My one person tent? My two person tent? Or my hammock? So let's open up I have my backpack here and let's see what comes up da, 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 da. okay I chose the lightweight option because I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to put up the hammock and if I look around here there are a lot of trees but I'm not allowed to go into the woods so I'll have to pitch a tent here behind me 
So I think the tent was the best. So that way you know what I chose this time. But I do still want to try out the hammock because I think that's a good solution for me as well. Hey, water just boiled, so now I have the dilemma. I can have rice and chicken curry or was it couscous with vegetables. So, which one? I'll take the chicken. Let's open it up. Nice can be handy. Ow. And you can cut your finger. Oh, great. Good job. That's my luck. My finger is hurting and it started to rain. So I took my stuff to my tent. But it's not super comfortable. So it's not raining very hard. So I think I'll see if it works and otherwise I'll just simply go back out. I don't want my bed curry and rice. Bad though. Looks like rice. Like rice. Mm. And it's hot. But I guess that's what we want, right? Hot chicken and rice. I'm back out. <laughs> it didn't really rain very hard, so I'm lucky. But uh, now I just made myself a nice cup of tea to finish up. See, in this nice orange oilable cup. I got that from my colleague, Tara. So cheers, here's to you, Tara. Good morning, I just got my breakfast ready. I'll have a cup of tea and my oatmeal with proteins and I added some water. I think I added too much water. So it looks all right today. I had a lot of rain during the night, but it looks okay. The sun is shining behind me. And so I'm going to have my breakfast and I'll be heading out and try try to get my tent a little bit dry so see how that works out okay day two and just started it's going to be a long day, more than 30 kilometers. I slept okay, not really great. It's like you could say you have had worse night and probably also a lot better nights, but I'll be fine. So let's go. This is normally a really big lake, but there was some problem with the biodiversity. So they emptied it out and they are taking out all the vegetation that is not good, it's not local. And then they'll fill it up 
back and by March 2021 it should be all back to normal. So here it says GR 128 to 65 kilometers. I'm not gonna take this complete route because I hiked that once. So I'm just going to hike to my next campsite and I'll follow you part of uh, the different routes you have. she really wanted to do was who so I walked the whole way like this you know didn't really see the fun of that so now she pulls me so ooh. my first break I think I have another about 25 to go, but I really, really did like eight or nine, so that's not too bad. I have uh, a little apple cherry juice, which will be tasting very good. And in my goodie bag, I'll sure start with a healthy snack, because uh, I'm hungry, I really am, and I have a, a tired dog. Well. Here is a tired person, you know, anyway, so uh, it's too bad they didn't put on the website that this campsite was open. It would have been a lot nicer to have I'll two have day. normal days instead of one shorter day and one really long one. So, we'll, see. we'll make it. I don't know how, but I'm sure we'll make it. Have some food. up with the GR5 we want to do another 
little project with the GR5 ladies. That's gonna be the GR12. 12 goes from Amsterdam to Paris. And so what we wanna do is start in Brussels, walk to Paris. When we get there, simply go from Brussels to Amsterdam. And so that'll be, you know, a few weekends, a few, quite some time to finish. So, I made it halfway through the day, the second day, so uh, time for lunch, so I'll see what I have. Oh no, let's do it the other way. I'm gonna close down part one of my three day hike. So, if you wanna know what I had for lunch, and if I make it to the campsite, and if I'm gonna make it to Leuven tomorrow, you have to watch the next episode so stay tuned for part two of my three-day hike to Leuven <laughs>